How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Talisman opening, another Monster Hunter Rise video. If you guys are enjoying all of these Rise videos, make sure you are liked and subscribed down below. And thank you for all of the support, guys. We're jumping in with another Wisp of Mystery. You guys asked for another episode, so here it is. I'm getting close to another Rebirth one as well, so keep an eye out for that. Hopefully coming in this next week. Uh, I'm using my Woody outfit from, um, from the previous video. Uh, I've actually made a slight change that you guys suggested going for the Roggy belt, where you can see we have the uh, like the double, like the handguns and the holsters. So I actually think you guys are right. You improved the Woody outfit set, but we're here for the talisman opening. Uh, I got pretty average stuff. I would say more so below average last time. So I'm really hoping we'll get something extra good this time. You know what, guys? As well, I haven't got a single pierce up talisman. And I really want to pierce up Talisman so I can improve my pierce like bowgun build as well as my pierce bow builds because there's a really nice new bow that has an upgrade. The Rachna bow um, has got a rarity 7 upgrade in the patch and it looks like it's a pretty cool pierce bow build, particularly for Camellios. So I'm hoping for a pierce up Talisman uh, or a two levels in rapid up or a nice weakness exploit level 2 talisman or something like that. They of course aren't as important anymore after the new update, uh, where, you can, where there's more decorations basically, but let's jump into it. We have dragon resistance and affinity sliding. Oh no, you guys know how I feel about those decorations. Not today, we're skipping ahead. Leap of faith, not a fan of that skill. Uh, and then speed eating level 2. Speed eating level 2 is really nice to have on a talisman. It's a level 2 slot. If that was with wide range, that would have been really nice for a wide range healing build. But alas, it isn't. Hellfire Cloak level 2, that's really cool because it's a level 3 decoration. Uh, so it's hard to fit into your build. And you actually only need 3 levels in Hellfire Cloak. If we go to the levels here, you can see that level 3 gives us the inflict Hellfire Blight when monsters are enraged. While level 4 basically just means it persists a bit longer. So you actually only need level 3 to get the Blight onto yourself with the skill. Which then would synergize with Resuscitate. So having 2 levels on a talisman is kind of cool and it's only rarity five which means you could get hellfire cloak level two and a, and a whole bunch more stuff this one just rolled badly so that's pretty interesting to see another hellfire cloak is this going to be a trend on this set uh we'll find out there's actually a decent amount of red here as well i'm quite excited to see how we'll do with these uh we got speed eating with paralysis attack this is this is interesting. There's no no great synergy there, but speed eating is just kind of nice to have anyway. And paralyze attack is is okay to get now. It's a decoration, but it's great to have it on the talisman anyway. If this had a level two slot, this would be so much more nicer, but not too amazing there. Next up, we have affinity sliding with blast attack. This is a really bad one. Uh, both level one decorations. Uh, actually, no, Blast Attack is a level 2 decoration, but it's only level 1. Fin Affinity Sliding is level 1 decoration slot, so nothing special there. Stun Resistance Dragon Attack, oh, I'm not a fan of that one. Uh, we've got Steadiness with Diversion here. So, Steadiness, as you can see, is the deviation of bowgun shots. So, I think the way that this works is when you shoot a bowgun, you'll notice that the bullet, like, can sometimes shoot and then like veer off to one side, if that makes sense. The d the steadiness just sort of helps with that. So for some builds, it's quite good, uh, such as like a sticky bowgun build, because you really need to land that single hit of the sticky ammo. So steadiness can be decent for that. While deviation makes the monster focus you a bit more, it's almost like a taunt skill. So not a great synergy there. Deviation is really good for something like Charge Blade, where you want to hit those counters to fill your files, or for something like Longsword, where you want to get hit to hit the counter to level up your sword gauge. So Diversion can be quite good, but it's a level 1 skill anyway, so not good for your Talisman. This has a level 3 slot though, I said it before, but the level 3 slots on Talismans are going to be a lot more important now that we have a lot more uh, level 3 decorations to make after the update here we have okay here we have reload speed one with ballistics one ballistics used to be called aim booster uh it literally increases the critical range window like distance of your like bow and bowgun uh weapons and reload speed obviously works for both uh bow and bowgun as well so they're actually a pretty good synergizing combo uh reload speed's only a level one slot while i think aim booster's level two i think maybe it's level three but i think it's level two um so that's a decent combo there, and a level 2 slot on top, 
If they've rolled a bit higher, I think this would be really, really good. It's a good synergy, but it didn't roll very high. The level 2 slot would could maybe bring Ballistics up to level 2. It's a shame it didn't roll higher, to be honest. Next up, we got Fire Attack with Dragon Attack. I wonder if there's any Jewel Blades that have those two elements together. Uh, level 1 slots again, though, and obviously, unless there's a particular weapon that combos together, that won't be that good. Geologist with speed sharpening. Speed sharpening, probably the best level one decoration in my opinion. Um, and Geologist is a really good one for gathering runs if you're running the ore mining route to get zenny or points. If you guys don't know, taking level three Geologist with mining, outcrop, upsurge on the lava caverns, and then going around and mining all of the ore nodes, and then selling those ores, is an incredible way to earn hundreds of thousands of zenny really, really quickly. So Geologist is really cool, but again, it's a level one decoration, so this uh, this particular talisman is not that good. Divine Blessing with Dragon Attack, both level one, all level one slots, not that good here either. Here's the thing, guys, as well. For every bad talisman I get, I don't mind too much because I'm going to use it to recycle into Rebirth. So even if we don't get good stuff, it's not the end of the world. But when we do the Rebirth rolls, if they go badly, that's when it stings because you use 20 talismans to make three rebirth ones. So not too great there. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, this is actually incredible. This might be like the, one of the best talismans I've got and it's Counter-Strike. If you don't know, we did a whole video on Counter-Strike and how it is potentially like usable and viable. Uh, three levels of Counter-Strike with speed sharpening, which I just said, like that's like the best level one skill with a level 1 and a level 2 slot, so this could be speed sharpening level 2, and then the level 2 slot could be like a weakness exploit. This is actually incredible. I might end up using this. I think if I'm going to... If I... I, You could use this on any build. That's actually... I'm actually really happy with that. I'm going to start using uh, Counter-Strike just because of how good that decoration is, uh, that talisman is. Wow. That's the best one I think I've ever got. Uh, Ice Attack with Razor Sharp. There's kind of a potential combo here. Razor Sharp has a chance to not use your sharpness up to, I think, 50%. Uh, yeah, 50%. And Ice Attack, obviously a very good um, skill if you're using Ice Elemental Weapons. Level 1 slot, though. Um, I would say it didn't roll quite high enough here, but there's potential for, like, Ice Jewel Blades, maybe. Next up, we have Load Shells. Load Shells is such a good skill for Charge Blade and Gun Lance. Uh, for Charge Blade, it lets you instantly fill your files from yellow at level 2. Uh, for Gun Lance, it gives you one extra like uh, shell, as well as increasing like the reload speed. Really, really cool. Good skill. It's a shame it only is level 1. Level 3 Agitator. This is such a shame it didn't have an accompanying skill because... High point, high level and agitator on a talisman would be really, really cool to have, especially as we're going more and more forwards and like more updates with more monsters will come out that are like, you know, enraged more and harder. Uh, so that's interesting. Here we have another Hellfire Cloak level two with reload speed level one. Interesting. Not a great synergy there, unfortunately. Um, you know, reload speed being good for bow and bow gun, while uh, Hellfire Cloak being for like a resuscitate build could work for bow and bow gun, but. Again, not a great synergy there. Ice attack with speed sharpening and a level 2. It didn't really roll high enough, to be honest. I think there are better talismans out there if you're going for an elemental build. Dragon attack with blast resistance. Ooh, another resistance, guys. But a level 3 slot, it didn't really roll high enough for me to use it, to be honest. Tremor resistance with reload speed, another resistance. Tremor resistance is... I just don't think it's ever that useful. There are not a lot of monsters that are really... <sighs> Actually, do you know what? Apex Azeros, when he does that, like, jump butt slam, he hits you with a tremor. If you're any... It, like, you, it, he jumps on you, and if you dodge out of the way, even if you've dodged, like, twice, you still get hit by the tremor of, like, the booty slam. Um, and when you're in that tremor, he then hits you with, like, an upswing that launches you in the air, and then you have to wirebug recovery... Otherwise, you basically die because he, like, follows up with a secondary attack. So for Apex Azeroth, Tremor Resistance might actually be a useful thing. But for, like, everything else, I don't think it is. So still not a great skill, to be honest. Uh, Part Breaker with Stamina Surge. These are nice skills to have. 
It's a shame that they're both level 1, so we'll skip on that. Steadiness 2 that we talked about before, with Evade Window. Evade Window is pretty good on bow guns that obviously Steadiness will uh, will only work for, but at level 1 it's not big enough of a difference. Slugger with Diversion. Slugger, really nice for KO builds. I have this really nice KO Switch Axe build that uses the, like, Conqueress Switch Axe. It's like a got an exhaust file with a ramp up that increases the exhaust files damage to like 45 or something like that. Uh, so Slugger, Stamina Thief on the Switch Axe build are like really, really cool. Um, I haven't done a video on that Switch Axe build though. If you guys like Switch Axes and you like the idea of a KO Switch Axe build, let me know. I might post it. Um, Divine Blessing with Geologist. Not a great combo there. Rolled kind of low. Speed Sharpening with Thunder attacked. Again, it rolled kind of low, so we'll skip on that. Fortify, Aim Booster. Ah. Oh. Fortify is just not a skill you really want on your talisman, and it's level 1 decoration, so not a great synergy there. Earplugs with Quick Sheath, a 2 and a 1 slot though. If this rolled a bit higher, it might be good, but not at level 1. A wide range with Leap of Faith, not very good either. These red red ones have been really bad, apart from that one really good, like, god-rolled counter, uh, <laughs> counter-strike one. That is kind of a god roll for Counter-Strike. I, Of course I would get a god roll for a, a skill that's a bit like... niche, like, do you really want to get knocked over? Oh man, I, I'm, st I'm still going to use it and make a build out of it though. Paralysis resist- not another resistance! Um, you know what guys, I haven't said it in the last couple videos, if any of you are new watching, the reason I don't like resistances is that they're level 1 decoration slots, you can fit them in your build anyway, and nothing in the game is really hard enough to warrant using them, outside of stun resistance, because stun resistance is really good for greatsword with rage slash and adamant slide, uh, because you can still get stunned while you're super armoured from those moves, uh, and with greatsword you want to be getting hit to power up your rage slash, so stun resistance is pretty good. Another resistance fire attack, we'll skip it. Heroics, only level 1, so we'll skip it. Another resistance hellfire. We've got so much hellfire cloak on this batch. Uh, carving pro with rapid morph. Rapid morph is so good for switch axe and pretty good for charge blade, uh, but not at level 1, so we'll skip that. Uh, water resistance with thunder attack. Here's the thing, right? Thunder attack is going to be good against things that, like, Actually, I don't know. It is Mitsune weak to thunder because Mitsune uses like water attacks, right? If she if she's weak to thunder, then this could be good. A level three slot's nice, but it didn't really roll high enough anyway. Dragon with poison attack, not really good enough. Uh, special ammo booster. You know what, guys? I think people are actually sleeping on Dragon Piercer on the bow. It does a lot of damage, especially with a pierce build, and because special ammo booster increases Dragon Piercer damage by twenty percent. I think there's real potential for pierce bow builds that use dragon piercer. So special ammo boost could be really good. It didn't roll with very good decorations here and no accompanying skill. It would be nice to see like special special ammo boost with pierce up. That would be the most insanely good combo for a pierce bow build. But that didn't have it, so we'll skip on that one. Speed sharpening, leap of faith, nothing special there. Sleep resistance, speed eating. Ooh, that's a shame. A level a level three slot though. Windproof with part breaker, not a fantastic combo there either. Stun resistance, my favorite resistance, even though I still hate it. With stamina surge interesting. Oh, by the way, guys, of course, my camera is back and fixed for this video. I hope you guys didn't mind the last talisman opening where my, like, webcam got corrupted. I was so upset, I almost didn't upload it at all, but I already promised it in all the other videos, so uh, thank you so much for showing the support on that one, and it's good to be back on the webcam for this one. Um, stun resistance, stamina sludge, nothing too special there. Fire attack, punishing draw. I do wonder, have any of you guys got punishing draw with critical draw on the same talisman? Because that would be perfect for that kind of draw attack build. Reload speed, windproof, not a great... Ooh, okay. Ah, oh, I got so excited because I saw the slots first. Two level two slots on a talisman is so good, but leap of faith and windproof is so bad. That's such a shame. Uh, recovery speed, dragon resistance, nothing special there. Punishing draw with bludgeoner. Maybe you could make a punishing draw build with like a Tigrex weapon that has green sharpness, so you're using bludgeoner, that could be a thing. So maybe those two work together for some things. Yo, this is interesting. Bobbly Dance and Hellfire Cloak on the same talisman? 
That's a bit nuts, to be honest. You can make a crazy resuscitate build that uses both blights. And a level two slot as well. So you could get Bubbly Dance level two on that. That's interesting. That could be that could be fun to make like a funny build. Uh drag resistance carving pro, quick sheath poison resistance. Oh, nothing's really rolling very high here. Ooh, two levels of peak performance is kind of nice though. Recovery up's a bit meh, but peak performance is a really good skill traditionally. And then flinch free with constitution, not really high enough there. But the star of the show, guys. Counter-Strike level 3 with a speed sharpening, a 2 and a 1 slot. This is a potentially really, really nice talisman. I can't, I kind of can't believe it. We got an actual, we actually got a decent talisman for once, even though it's only Counter-Strike. But if you haven't watched the Counter-Strike video we did, it's actually viable. So I'm kind of happy with that. Let me know what you guys thought of these talismans in the comments below. Should I be doing another talisman opening video as well? Or should I wait until the rebirth ones are ready? You know, what do you guys think? Is it, do you guys enjoy these Wisp of Mystery ones? Or do you think I should just do the rebirth ones? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't to be part of the notification squad. Thank you for all of the support guys. I hope you're all enjoying your Rise playthrough, having a great day, enjoying all of these videos and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Paradise Central. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.